how to find the root cause of any defect on any item manufactured in any industry is there any method which exists to do that yes we have a very effective method of doing it which is known as differential diagnosis we have demonstrated an example to show how to find the root cause variety of bracelet placed in the tray we are going to take one golden bracelet which has diamond studded on it near the joint area we are going to polish it okay now we are going to dip our bracelet in three different solution the number one solution is mild detergent solution to remove the oil or the dust deposit on this bracelet that's nice now we are going to dip our bracelet in the distilled water solution to remove the extra detergent deposited on its surface now we are going to dip our bracelet in the third beaker which has activator in it to provide a smooth shiny surface to our bracelet by observing it closely i observe that a defect has arrived on its surface what could be the root cause of this problem either it could be because of polishing no either it could be because of dipping it in a detergent solution might be uditi wait you remember differential diagnosis yes we are going to use that let us proceed in a systematic way for that you need to answer a couple of questions first question is what is the defect second what is the item with the defect the bracelet which has the defect is this golden bracelet which has diamond studded on it and the defect is the white bubbles which are appearing on its surface all right now you need to tell me that on which part of the bracelet is the defect present and on which part of the bracelet is the defect absent the defect is present only near the area where the bracelet is joined where the diamond is studded and it is absent on the rest of the area wow that is interesting if the defect is absent on the rest of the bracelet we can eliminate the dipping process as the root cause if the dipping process was the root cause the defect would be present all over the bracelet that's brilliant avani you have concluded absence of causes from absence of problems this is very unusual it is opposite to what the whole world thinks the education system trains us in looking at presence of problem and making hypothesis about presence of cause but differential diagnosis which you used is very effective because it first eliminates a whole lot of causes by looking at absence of problem this is a rare ability and requires considerable intelligence but it's very effective i have used it in many countries in many industries to solve very difficult problems great please remember absence of problem conclude absence of cause and then in the remaining area look for the actual cause great